Uh, Michael, are there any environmental factors that we know of that causes Parkinson's? Uh, there's no smoking gun, and there's no one like group of patients or people living in a certain area or doing a certain kind of work that is you know, mm -hmm. off the charts more associated with Parkinson's. There have been a variety of epidemiologic studies over decades now that have kind of hinted at this and that, whether rural living or well water uh, you know, might be increase your risk, whether other things like coffee or smoking cigarettes might decrease your risk. Mm -hmm. So there seems to be an interplay of environmental factors, but there's... There's no one particular thing that we can say, oh, you know, that's why you got it. Do pesticides cause Parkinson's? Well, that's a good point. Um, pesticides, uh, there are certain pesticides that seem to be particularly toxic to areas mm -hmm. of the brain associated with Parkinson's. Med certain ones like rotenone, which are used mm -hmm. in some of the animal models that, mm -hmm. we, that we've developed that sort of simulate Parkinson's. And there's been some debate about whether Agent Orange and Vietnam vets that have been exposed might have increased risk. Uh, so there's some, there's some rationale for that, but, but generally speaking, you know, mm -hmm. some exposure to pesticides doesn't necessarily, or herbicides, uh, significantly increase your risk of Parkinson's. Okay. Are there any medications that we think causes Parkinson's? So interestingly, you know, Parkinson's, as we talked about, has a lot to do with, at least in its clinical uh, presentation with the lack of dopamine. And there are medicines whose, the way they work is by blocking dopamine. They, because if you have too much dopamine mm -hmm. or dysregulated dopamine, you can have other problems, schizophrenia or uh, other types of, of issues. So patients sometimes do receive medicine, the intent of which is to lower the dopamine mm -hmm. effect. Sure. And those can simulate Parkinson's, what we call sort of drug-induced Parkinsonism. So when someone comes to us and looks looks like they have Parkinson's, as you know, one of the things we do is we look at the medication list to make sure there's nothing that might be actually sort of masquerading as Parkinson's. Uh, but I'm not aware of a medicine that per se causes Parkinson's disease.